Hey, what's up everyone? So um, yeah, that's right. Facebook has changed their company name to, uh, to Meta and with that they waved the Oculus brand goodbye. I still can't believe that this actually happened. I, I, I just was completely struck by this news. Surprised. I didn't know about this. They didn't brief me. They didn't tell me that they were going to do this. So what this means for the near future is that things like, for example, the Oculus Quest might be called the Meta Quest. We don't know yet, but there is a possibility it's going to be called that way. And everything else that will come after this headset will probably bear the same name. So it will be Meta Hardware and not Oculus Hardware. So not sure about you, but it seems like Ready Player One is slowly becoming a reality. A virtual reality in a good but also a bad way sadly but what does this mean to us well let's get into it i'm going to talk about facebook's vision on what the metaverse is going to look like and i'm also going to talk about my own what my view on this is and where i want vr to go so facebook transforming into meta has already been a historical moment for VR and probably even the world because you could say that with this change we got another step closer to virtual reality going mainstream. I'm, I'm serious, everyone was talking about it. I could hear it on the radio, I, I saw it on TV, it, it was on social media, even my grandmother was asking me what this whole meta deal was. Well usually she doesn't care about tech. You know old people, they, they, they think that tech is some kind of like thing from outer space. But yeah, she even was like asking me, like you're working in this, in this field, what does this all mean? So yeah, if you like Facebook or not, you can't deny that they are on the forefront of it all and seem to be ready to become one with VR and the so-called metaverse. I'm sure you all heard me say, see you in the metaverse. Jump right into the metaverse. The metaverse. Metaverse. Jump into the metaverse. See you in the metaverse. Woo. For years and years, I have been using this term way before VR was considered cool or relevant. <laughs> so metaverse pretty much means a virtual reality world that looks similar to the real one we live in right now, but instead is computer generated and offers endless possibilities of who you want to be and what you can experience. See it as the matrix, the grid, the nexus or the virtual reality oasis. The futuristic stuff you have seen in the movies, you know, that are all guessing what VR has in store for us when it's fully developed. Recently, metaphors as a word has been growing in popularity, has been going sky high, especially because Facebook is now using it, but it pretty much has the same meaning as the other ones. So it could have been matrix too, it could have been the grid, it doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't mean that the metaverse is just the one thing we should use. No, we can use whatever word we want. And it originally came out of a sci-fi novel called Snow Crash from 1992, also known as the VR Enthusiast Bible. But yeah, if you have seen or read one of these novels or movies, you kind of already know where things are heading in the future. As we speak, there are tiny metaverses and matrixes, oasises that surround us already, such as VRChat, uh, Roblox, Neos, Rec Room, and even Fortnite. Fortnite is also uh, uh, some kind of metaverse. Those are virtual places that people already go to, to play, to discover, build, and most importantly, socialize with friends. I always thought that the term metaverse had a nice ring to it, and so did Mark Zuckerberg, because what Mark wants to do with his now owned name Meta is quite ambitious to say the least. He wants to combine all of these virtual places and, and connect them to create one large intersection, a universe that can take you anywhere you want. A better way to describe it is by saying it's the internet 2.0, one that lets your imagination go weld, one that is going to be much more immersive. A digital world that you visit to meet friends or strangers, to relax, learn, share, build, shop, and even work from there with, on top, its own economy. It could be that Facebook is going to use its own crypto or they're going to also integrate NFTs and maybe other things that are still ahead of us. We don't know, but digital goods are going to be a big part of the metaverse. Literally, a internet you can step into. 
boom. So Twitter user Lucas Risotto summed it up perfectly. He said, it will not necessarily replace a reality, but it will add a flavor and additional depth to it. Highlighting that real life will always be the main uh, dish. What's interesting is that you will be able to jack into Facebook's uh, metaverse with almost every device possible. If you see the videos, then you can use a pair of AR glasses, you can use a VR headset, you could just use a computer or a laptop to do it, your phone. I could go on forever. Like every device seems to be a possibility here. They, they kind of want to suggest with these uh, concept videos, these futuristic videos that the, the sky is the limit. Years, maybe even decades will have to go by before this is truly here. But the first glimpses are there to see. It's obvious that with the name change, Mark wants to go full steam ahead and make this his life work. He's willing to invest billions of dollars to make it happen. I mean, Facebook, aka Meta, has been constantly looking to hire talented people and is buying companies in the tech scene like it's nothing. They are moving so fast that it's hard for smaller businesses who build their own metaverses to keep up. And even if they do keep up, there is a chance Facebook is going to buy them. All to reach that ultimate goal of being the market's leader of digital worlds. The new goal for companies is going to be owning their own virtual reality civilization. I'm not joking, that's what it is. The main question for these big corporations will be, how are we going to hook people and make the most money? It could be through in-world ads, through a currency as mentioned earlier, or something else we just don't know of yet. On one side, I am happy that Mark bought Oculus, and with that, a large piece of the VR industry's pie, because without him, we wouldn't be where we are right now. If Palmer Lucky didn't sell his baby, I think we weren't talking about VR like the way we are doing at this point in time. I mean, in my case, it all started as just an interest, and then it became a hobby, a passion, and even my work. I've been so grateful to be a part of this industry and getting the chance to make people excited for VR on a daily basis. That's why I got this channel, because I, I really believe in the metaphors and all the good it has to offer. But it should be an open one, a open metaphors that is owned by us all. With Facebook renaming to Meta, they have shown their true colors. If you didn't see it before, then you should definitely see it now. They, they want to own the metaverse. They could have picked any name out there, but decided to go for something that is the closest to what we call virtual reality. It's not the metaverse, it's meta, but still, that's like half of the name. And I'm sure they aren't the only ones, by the way. Tech giants like Apple and ByteDance must be dreaming of their own metaverses too. The bigger, the better. And if you can hook people to yours, you're going to be on a winning streak. It's not like this is anything new. I mean, we see this in the phone market, the console market, the computer. Uh, everywhere in tech and of course outside of that, companies want you to buy their stuff. Or even better, become their customer for the rest of your life. Now, here's me hoping that all these companies who are going to say that their metaphors is the best are going to keep it open, that they are not creating these closed ecosystems. Because I want to be able to travel from, let's say, Apple's metaphors to Facebook's metaphors and then to Microsoft's metaphors. With ByteDance, it's going to be a bit of a different story as they have to deal with the Chinese firewall. But even in that scenario, there are still tools that can be used. I mean, I use WeChat as we speak to talk to my Chinese friends overseas. So there are ways to make sure that everyone around the world will be able to communicate in some way. It's like using the internet. Everyone can use any browser they want and still get access to this portal that we call the World Wide Web. And VR should be the same. The fact Mark already owns half of the name will surely blur the lines between what the metaphors really means to us, the people, and what Facebook wants it to be as a company. Because for them, this is a business model, remember? It's not necessarily about you and me creating the metaphors here but more like helping a big corporation making their investments come true because they put so much money into this concept, into this idea that they will do everything they can to make it work. And if we can you know, help them out with that, they're happy to give us tools to do it. Uh, but it is good to know that Facebook, their core business model 
is selling ads. They turn data into advertisement and that's something that you have to keep in mind when you think about this exciting metaverse. And that's why it's up to us to continue to inform people who step into VR and AR now and tell them that the metaverse isn't just Facebook, but them, us, the community. We are the metaverse and should share this beautiful virtual future together like we once started doing with uh, the internet. With that being said though, it does make me sad to see the Oculus name disappear. I grew up with it and it partly makes me feel nostalgic and old because when I look back at everything I did, I realize how long I have been in the VR industry and how long I've been trying to make people excited for VR. I owe this name so much, you have no idea, but I understand why it needs to pack its uh, things and go. I want to salute Oculus with awesomeness because it is a part of me and, and many of you and it makes me a little emotional too because I um, I just love all the stuff that happened from, from the start to now. I VR is like such a magical thing and knowing that Oculus as a brand, as a product, as whatever it means to many people will not be a part of that journey anymore hurts. It truly does. With VR not being mainstream just yet, this is the best moment to do this name change without it having too much impact, I, I understand. And I really think that in a year from now, most consumers won't know the name Oculus or associate it to virtual reality hardware nor content. There will soon be a major push, marketing and branding wise for Meta. And then only us early adopters in the VR bubble will remember the good old days. Sadness aside though, I had an absolute blast covering Oculus, their hardware, their games, their software, meeting the people behind all of it, and also the events, of course, because without those, I would have never been able to meet up with the VR content creators in this awesome space, the developers who work so hard to make VR a reality, and, and you all, my subscribers, my audience, my followers who have been supporting me from the start or since a few months or years, you know, it's been such a ride and that's why I kind of got emotional because it all, you know, flies by for a moment and it makes you realize that this is a new era, okay? And I'm terrified, I'm terrified but also pumped to be a part of that. So let's toast to an open metaphors, a grid, a virtual reality oasis or whatever it's going to be called. In the end, the world decides what it's going to be. Not Facebook, not Apple, not ByteDance or any other tech giant who wants to own the metaverse. It's ours to lose. The time is ticking. And that's why I want to challenge every VR content creator on YouTube to speak their mind as well, to share their vision of what the metaphor should be and where VR should be heading in the future. Feel free to join in, by the way, in the comments below. I'm very, very curious what you all think. And uh, with that being said, until next time, see you in the metaphors, the one that is owned by us all. Oh yes. See you later. Bye-bye.